What's up? You're watching Drift Ninja TV. Today we're going to be working on this side of the van on this door. Um, basically, it doesn't unlock with the key. As you can see. The lock will turn, but nothing engages. That was already open. Um, and the second thing we're fixing, you already heard. Fixing this annoying door buzzer, and we're just gonna get rid of that. So, this is a YouTube video on how to do that. What's up, you're watching Drift Ninja TV? What's up, you're watching Drift Ninja TV? We're yelling right now because this stupid thing's making noise, and we're yeah. gonna fix it. You hear that buzzing, people? Yeah, we are gonna fix this problem. Right now, it's Saturday. You guys might see this on Sunday. I don't know when we're posting it, but this stupid buzzing, we want to turn this buzzing off, and we want to try to fix the lock on this. I think, does the passenger lock work? Yeah, it works fine, and the back works fine, luckily, but... Does the side work? Yeah, the passenger side, yeah. Oh, no, 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 side. no, yeah. yeah, that door does, so this door's the only one. Alright, so yeah, we're going to move those screws and this screw. But yeah, it's pretty easy to take apart the cotton covers. You should paint this more, it looks ugly right now. I know. It's paint all over it. We're getting there. We're getting there. It'll actually be really easy to paint once it's off the door, because then I wouldn't even have to tape anything. Yeah. One in here, and you need an actual screwdriver. So we'll just uh, cut back when we're back to something interesting. Yep. See ya. So I just lost the cotter pin, but luckily we planned for this and we have a metal detector, so I'm gonna do a quick sweep in a little bit. But basically, yep. we took all, all the screws and took this part out, and there's just four clips. It's gonna rain actually a little more. Yep, four clips, and then you just lift up. And, yeah, we should probably put that down. Oh, 
struggle with this lock. So it's like pulling up, but we don't know if it's like attached to IC. When you put the key in, it works fine, you see? You see, that's supposed to pull up, it's pulling up. We don't know if it was attached to right, but we're going to try to attach it now. Hey, what's up? You're watching Drift Ninja TV. Uh, here's a nice little handy hint when you're working on your door in the rain. Um, we got it fixed. The problem was that they must have ordered a passenger side lock. Uh, it was uninstallable um, on this side unless you installed it upside down because of the way it inserted itself. So we just took the file, the file down the one side so it could be installed upside down. So this is a passenger side upside down lock. And now it works perfectly fine. It's engaging and everything. Yep. So um, maybe you'll run into the same problem. Maybe you won't have to file it. But uh, we're lucky that the, the tumbler was still working. Uh, we just had to work with what we had, so yeah, it was a good install and it hey, took a little bit longer. I guess we're going to have to wipe the old whole vein down. Yeah, so it's we wet. did get a little bit wet. But we learned a lot, and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. See ya.